hi everyone who is watching my youtube channel uh, in this lecture we are going to look at interference by division of amplitude uh, so we have this geometry here where we have an incident ray and it is reflected here transmitted onto the, onto the other onto the onto this whatever and also it is reflected here and reflected again so we have index one which is the index of the air around and this is the index of the thin film this is the distance between the two layers of the thin film d we have this distance x this is the angle of incidence i can call it theta one and also here this transmitting the, the angle of transmission i can say transmission angle theta two yeah see this one here is these two are parallel that's why you have a 90 here implying that this angle is equal to this one now the optical path difference is given by index times the path traveled by light optical path is index times path traveled by light so optical path difference we have light passing a b plus b c into this medium here we shall have the index times a b plus b c which is this one here so this is the optical path here minus the optical path here a d times n1 which is this one here so the whole of this is what we are calling the optical path difference so our task is to get a b b c and a d then substitute in the formula and that will be the optical path difference so our a b is equal to is equal to BC is equal to D over cos theta 2 from this diagram here BC here or AB AB and we are having this is the angle implying that this is the hypotenuse and this one here is adjacent which is actually equal to D therefore AB is equal to BC is equal to D over cos theta 2 so we need now to get a d we need to get a a d which we don't know how do we get a d i can look at this triangle here here oh i can also look at this one can say i can say a d out of a c is equal to sin theta 1 we have a d out of a c is equal to sin theta 1 implying that AD is equal to SC sin theta 1 okay okay I can label this part here I can label this part here N I can label this part there N so I can get a n therefore SC is equal to twice a n implying I need now to get I need to get this SC here so the SC is equal to twice a n but a n -E is equal to a n -E is equal to d tan theta 2 from the geometry from the geometry here i can get a n from this geometry here from this triangle here so implying that my ad is equal to twice a n sin theta 1 which will actually be equal to 2 d tan theta 1 tan 2 d tan theta 2 sin theta 1 are we together there i think we are together there I can I, I need now to, to make this sine theta two. I can say from from Snell's law from Snell's law n one sine theta one is equal to n two sine theta two. But n one is equal to one. Why? Because it is in air is in a so we shall have sin theta 1 equaling to n2 sin theta 2 so we are getting this one here 
and substituting it where we have theta. So we are getting substituted here. So we shall have our AD equaling to twice D twice D tan theta 2 dot N2 sin theta 2. Therefore, my optical path difference then will be it will be N2 into D over cos theta 2 plus D over cos theta 2 I'm substituting minus N1 minus 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 N1 times AD which AD is here which is 2 D N2 tan theta 2 sin theta 2 but we say this one here is equivalent to 1 so we shall have the OPD equaling to N2 if I, if I do if I if I simplify this one, shall have 2D out of cos out of cos theta 2 minus this will be 2D N2 tan tan theta 2 sin theta sin theta 2 when you simplify all of this you will get it will give me a 2D N2 cos theta 2. Are we together? So this is the opticopathy difference. This is the opticopathy difference. So I can look at, I can say, for constructive interference, for constructive interference, opticopath difference is an integral multiple of the wavelength where m is equal to 1 to 1 to up to infinity implying that we shall have 2d n2 cos theta 2 equaling to m lambda this is a very important derivation also look at that for destructive for destructive Inter for destructive interference, the optical path difference for destructive interference is equal to m plus a half lambda implying shall have 2d and 2 cos theta 2 equaling to m plus a half lambda. So these are the two derivations for destructive and constructive interference regarding interference by division of amplitude. So when I come back next time, we can look at examples where we shall apply these two derivations. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel.